guys welcome back to the DNN medical series this is a girl Nikki and today we're going to talk about eight problems that can cause heavy menstrual bleeding so you know menstruation is normal the girl bleeds through her vagina every month or every 28 days so what can cause heavy or irregular menstrual bleeding so the first one we're going to talk about is ovulatory dysfunction so this is basically a term that describes a group of disorder where ovulation fail to occur or it's infrequent or it's irregular so what is basically ovulation so ovulation is basically when the ovary releases egg 14 days 12 to 14 days after or before your next period so this failed to occur and this can cause you to have heavy menstrual bleeding the next one is bleeding disorders so bleeding disorders such as hemophilia or von Willebrand disease this is when the blood lacks clotting factors so your blood is supposed to is not supposed to be so thin so you so clotting factors are responsible for this so when your blood lack these things you just you're just bleeding non-stop well not non-stop but you're bleeding heavily than normal so that's another major thing that can cause heavy menstrual period the next one is basically uterine adenomyosis so you can see as the pictures are showing here so this is basically occurs when the tissues that normally lines the uterus like the endometrial tissues they grow into the muscular walls of the uterus so you can see and it displaces tissues and they, they they continue to act normally but they get thickened and they start to break down and they start to bleed during the menstrual cycle so you get more blood coming down and more thickened tissues coming down and that is a cause of heavy menstrual period the next one is PID. So this is basically pelvic inflammatory disease. It's an infection of one or more of your upper uterine, upper reproductive organs, such as your uterus, your fallopian tube, or your ovaries. So you have infection of those things, and these can cause you to have basically heavy menstrual period. The next one is uterine fibroids. So uterine fibroids are usually non-cancerous. So they're non-cancerous growth that appears during a childbearing age. When a woman is in the childbearing age between like 18 years old due to through menopause, when you're supposed to have a child, if you want to have a child, so your childbearing age, from your first period to menopause you can have uterine fibers which are non-cancerous which means they do cause cancer majority of the times and when you have uterine fibroids you can have heavy menstrual periods and the next one is uterine polyps so these are basically little growths that attach to the inner wall of the uterus and they can extend to the the, the cavity the uterine cavity and this overgrowth of cells can cause excess bleeding or heavy bleeding coming from your vagina the next one is cervical cancer so you can see the cancer of the cervix can cause heavy menstrual period because it's basically the cells overgrowing and spreading to different areas so this can cause you to have heavy menstrual bleeding and the last one for today is endometrial cancer so this is basically cancer of the endometrium so this layer of the, the, the uterus is the endometrium and when you have cancer of that, it can spread and it can cause heavy menstrual bleeding. So these are eight ways you can, uh, or eight causes why you can have a heavy menstrual bleeding. And if you experience any of these symptoms, you need to get it checked out with your doctor and they can advise you what to do. So that's all for today on Causes of heavy menstrual bleeding. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.